Hey there, wanted to jump on and do a quick flip through of my A5 memory planning system that I started using earlier this year. I use the Coco Daisy main planner kit and A5 Daisy Dory insert for this journal. I use the uh, 13 by eight and a half pattern paper to create a cover for the month. I also use the printables to create a little pocket where I keep the stickers that I use in this journal. One of the things I enjoy doing is uh, taking pictures of or screenshots of the Coco Daisy sneaks for the month and I put them in the two by two pockets. And when the kit comes, I like to decorate the remaining pockets with the embellishments from the kit. This month I actually took screenshots of all the products that I was gonna be using since I was the guest designer for July. I um, wanted to be, have a reference when I was writing up my posts and whatnot as to where things came from. So I decided to, um, to put those screenshots. Usually what I put here are pictures from other designers that um, inspire me. So it's kind of an inspiration space. And here's where we dive into the A5 Daisy Dory pages. I actually take the Daisy Dory apart and punch it to fit into this A5 binder system. At the end of the month, these pages get transferred into a large six by eight album because they are um, memories. It's not a it's a planner, but it's but it contains our memories, and it's something for me to refer back to when I actually decide to sit down and do some scrapbooking. I will have notes to look back on to refresh my memory. One of the things I like to include in this um, journal is the planner challenges and the journal challenges that Coco Daisy provides each month. So right off the bat, I love to put it at the front of the, the journal for easy reference. Then we hit into the grid pages and I always have one extra grid page um, per month. This month it happens to be at the front of the, the journal. Um, and this is where I put my goals for the month, my goals and my trackers. So you'll notice I have three different goals that I'm trying to work on this month, and I actually define what those goals are. And then providing I do this each day, I get to tally off um, to show that it was completed. This is my spread. Let me flip to the next page because it'll make a little more sense. So this is the first full week of July. and. Earlier in the year, I stumbled across Planning in Wonderland 1 on Instagram, and I saw she did a layout where she took the A5 Daisy Dory and created a vertical spread, and I just thought it was genius. I'm like, oh, this is so me. So I went ahead and created a vertical layout for myself, and I haven't looked back. It works out great. Um, I can look all just down and know all of this is Monday. All of this is Tuesday. But what I also like about this system is that you can also go horizontal with it. This top line is kind of like what you would pull out of your calendar. So this top section I use to list any appointments or anything that's time sensitive or anything that takes us out of the house. So it in itself tells its own little story of our day. This bottom section is typically where I track my exercise. However, I had surgery at the end of June, so I haven't been exercising, so it's been blank. But that is usually where I write down what I do in terms of my exercise routine. And then each of this, um, the cells in this middle row, they're just little daily nuggets of things that have happened throughout our day that I can refer back to later on if I decide to scrapbook something. I have these two extra little sections at the bottom that I decided to write a Thursday three. Um, so basically it's like three little things that I reflect back on or that happened throughout the week that I didn't necessarily talk about in this middle section. I write it here. And then I have this other larger uh, section on the page. I decided to take one journaling challenge from the Coco Daisy journaling challenges and focus on that. So this week I did five faves from Wisteria Lane. And here's another week. I focused on my journals. And another week, 
what was in my freezer. And next week I will be doing beach bag. Now these center pages, I usually try to use whatever quote is up here to tell another story. I haven't had the opportunity to use this page just yet, but hoping that later this month I will be able to. This quote said, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. And so I was thinking about what do I really enjoy? What, what excites me? And this month, my cluster project excited me. I had a lot of fun creating it and wanted to document about it. So this is all about cluster love. And I'm gonna actually do some journaling over here off to the side to talk about my cluster project. Now this would be the typically the center of your Daisy Dory. And what I like to do in here is do a July highlights. And so I usually print a six by six, or excuse me, a four by six collage. So it's got six two by two pictures. And I um, put that here and I decorate a little bit. And then I jot down some highlights from the month on this other side. This will be where I put my currently. Um, I typically start my currently mid month, but I haven't had the opportunity to do that yet. But by the end of the month, this will be filled out with some of the things I'm currently watching, reading, enjoying. Um, here's another page. The flower doesn't dream of the bee. It blossoms and the bee comes. So I need to figure out a story that I want to tell that will live on this page. Now, the second half of the book I've dedicated to telling those one little stories per day that I wouldn't necessarily end up putting in my project like life album. There's usually like going to the doctor. I was I had my um my post op visit and I wasn't driving, but my niece took me. And so I just wrote a little bit about that um cuz it's not something that I would necessarily put in a project life album. Now, some of these items would go in a Project Life album, but because I haven't been working on Project Life, I do choose to put it in here. Um, one of the other things I enjoy doing in this notebook is stamping. Again, I think I've mentioned I have a ton of stamps, a ton of stamps, and I wasn't using them. And this has provided me a perfect opportunity to stamp some fun little things, some fun little icons, um, to help decorate these pages. Again, these are just little daily tidbits. And at the end of the month, this is the last page in the A5 Daisy Dory. And I've used it for different things over the course of the last few months. Um, typically, I like to write another little reflection or track some of the products that I've used, some of my favorite things from each of the kits. Um, whatever, whatever I'm feeling at the moment is usually what goes in there. And that is the end of the Wisteria Lane. I've got my August going, sort of. <laughs> I have some of my sneaks. It's getting there, but I will work on that next week. So that, my friends, that is my A5 memory keeping planner system not exactly sure what you want to call it but at the end of the month it will go into this six by eight album where i have the rest of um well i started in march so these are all my march um pages march through through june i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching